Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to official channel of Video Prague. You might have noticed a motion feature in the toolbar of Video Prague. It's designed to add zoom, pan, and rolling effects to keyframes, so that you could tailor your story better with these dynamic shots. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a brilliant tool in four cases. Before we jump into it, make sure you have set up Video Proc in your computer. You can find the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get started. The motion option sits in the toolbar. Select the video in the timeline and hit the bottom to open motion editor. Here are two preview windows in the upper area. In the middle part, you can see some building motion effects. Above the timeline sits a toolbar in which you can add and delete the keyframes. When you click to select a keyframe, the properties will show up at the bottom of the window, and you can customize these options here. Many film editors and YouTubers would prefer this tactic to make the video look more cinematic. Actually, in Video Prog, we can also get the professional looking transition easily. Let's import a video to a timeline. Select the video and click Motion to open its editing panel. Click a Vertical Open in process to create a crop opening. And it makes absolutely sense to tweak the keyframe with your specific leads. Like insert new keyframes or change your speed ramping options to create a dramatic effect. Sometimes the camera was fixed while shooting, so we might lack some zoom and pan shots in post-editing. And that's where the motion comes to add. After launching Video Prog, let's load a video and it better go for a UHD 4K video. Otherwise, your video will get a little blurry after zooming in. This is a wide shot capturing the distance. You see, in the source footage, the cam didn't push in. If you want to make it look like being zoomed in, try the motion editor. Click the clip and hit motion in the toolbar. Place a play head to a position where you want to insert the zoom in effect. And choose zoom in in the preset bar. Here, video Prog would auto generate the second of keyframe. Drag it to a proper position. Move the box onto your main subject. Here, we'll focus on the eagle. And to get a smoother transition, you can also change the speed for the zoom in effect. Lex, let's go on adding the third keyframe. This time, our focus shifts from the ego to a swallow. That's what we call pen. Of course, you can do this in a different way. Finally, click Apply Motion. With a motion feature like zoom, pen, rotating and other moves, we can give the images more motion vibe and get those static background images alive. First, import a picture to your project and click Motion to open the editing panel. Hit Add Keyframe. Drag the box to select the arrow where you want to display. Insert another keyframe at the end of the video. Then, set the position and angle of this keyframe to animate the image. Also, you can add more keyframes to let the image move in other ways. Now, hit Apply Motion. Add text or titles to it. Now you've got a gorgeous dynamic background. In this way, you can make a great difference on the plain image and the result might even exceed your expectations. This video looks quite lovely, isn't it? Again, you can make that happen with Video Proc. First, make a picture like this. Then, add it to Video Proc. Click on the picture and open the motion editor. Now, add a keyframe to the beginning of the clip and drag the box to cover the first photo group. Then, move the playhead forward a little bit. Add a second keyframe. Drag the box to the first photo group and adjust the angle properly. Thus, it seems like moving some way. Lex, insert a third keyframe and drag the box on the second photo group. Repeat the step to finish the rest part.
on top of the four cases we've talked about, you can come up with more creative ideas with motion feature. We'll share with you more useful and powerful techniques for video editing. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe our channel. Alright, we'll see you soon in our next video. Bye!